fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty how silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Up the trail! I'll Silver! Hooray! Dan Reed and Tonto had spent the night in Coldwater Canyon, halfway between the town of Coldwater and the partly finished bridge. They'd broken camp at dawn... And an hour later, they were in the nearest part of the canyon, within sight of the bridge. That bridge will be a mighty fine thing, won't it, Tonto? That's right. It saved plenty of time. Sheriff Wallace was talking about it last night, remember? Ah. He said the bridge would cut 50 miles off the trail to the west. That's right, Dan. I'm sorry we're so early. I'd like to have seen the men working on that bridge. Oh, uh, maybe see them other time. After we meet Lone Ranger. Golly, Tonto. Do you suppose we could come back this way and watch the work for a little while? Maybe. We've seen what Lone Ranger say. Help. Help me. Tonto, someone's calling for help. Uh, me hear him. Who's got hope? Oh, 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 Victor. Oh, 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 oh. Over here. Help me. Me see him. Come along, Dan. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Victor. I don't see him, Tonto. Over there. You see fellow on ground? Not yet. Look on the bridge. Under the bridge. Uh, near Edge of Canyon. Oh, yeah, I see him. Look like fella hurt plenty bad. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 fella. oh steady there, oh, Victor. Oh, oh. <clears throat> Get canteen, Dan. You see what's wrong. Right. Here. Get me out of here. Yeah. Yeah, me help you. I'm pinned down with timber. Yeah. Me see it. Here. Here's the water, Tom. Yeah. I'm afraid my leg is broken. Uh, Dan, you get hold. We lift timber to one side. All right. Now, ready. Lift. <laughs> this way, Dan. Right. Now, drop it. Yeah. Golly. Uh, that sure was heavy. I came here at daybreak to look the job over. Here, you take a drink of water. Me look at leg. Legs. Is it broken, Tonto? Uh, leg broken. That's, that's what I thought. If, if you can get me up to the top of the canyon... I live there. I'll me put splint on leg first, and then me carry you up. There's a ladder. Yeah, me see it. Someone's coming down the ladder right mm. now. What? I'm coming, Mr. Conway. Oh, that's Kirk. He's the foreman. Are you Mr. Conway? Yes, that's my name. Then you're the engineer in charge of this bridge. That's right. Uh, me make splint of heavy stick, 
and tie it to leg. Great guns, Mr. Conway. What happened to you? Kirk I had a bad fall. Well, how did it happen? Oh, some careless fool left a timber loose, stepped on it. Here I am. Oh, hang it all, Mr. Conway. I've told you it was dangerous to make an inspection every morning when no one was around. But you insisted on doing I it. I know, Kirk. I know. Oh, oh well, me sorry to hurt. It's all right. Uh, who are these two? They were riding through the gap and heard me call. Oh, uh, me, Tonto. My name's Dan Reed, Mr. Kirk. Oh. <clears throat> well, get that splint in place so we can take the boss to his house. Oh, gone it all anyhow. Just when we're trying to finish the bridge, this has to happen. Well, you're lucky to be alive after a fall like that. Lucky? How can I see that this bridge is done if I've got to be stuck in a shack with a broken leg? Oh, don't worry about the bridge. I'll see that the work goes on, Mr. Conway. Oh, you'll have to, Kirk. We've got to get the job done by the time limit. What's more, you'll have to watch out for Sam Hind. That buzzard would do anything to keep us from finishing the bridge. Hind won't try anything, Mr. Conway. You watch out for him just the same. A few more accidents like this one and we'll be licked. Tonto carried John Conway up the ladder and made him as comfortable as possible in his small house. Dan remained with the injured man while the Indian rode to meet the Lone Ranger. The morning advanced with Jim Kirk giving orders to the men who worked on the bridge. Get going. Tie that rope on and lower those timbers. The men below are waiting. Hey, Kirk. Hey, what do you want to stay here? Mr. Hine has come to speak to you. Hine here? You no, know, he's the gent we're working Shut for. Shut up. There he comes now. He's seen you. Now go over and run the donkey into him. You know what to do. Yeah, I know what to do. See you later. Good morning, Kirk. Hind, it's dangerous for you to come here. I've been waiting in town for news, Kirk. I didn't get any. So I came to find out why. This bridge is going along on schedule, isn't it? Yes, but you should. Kirk, you took my money and I want something for it. You'll get what you paid for. You guaranteed that Conway wouldn't finish this bridge on time. He won't. But he is. It's ahead of schedule. I'm counting on this job, Kirk. I want it when Conway forfeits a contract. Listen, Hind. Conway had an, uh, had an accident this morning. He did? Yeah. He went out on the bridge to make his usual morning inspection and stepped on a loose timber. He fell into the canyon. <laughs> he broke his leg. Oh. <laughs> now, you're in charge, huh? That's right. I've just sent Steve over to run the donkey engine. There's a likely to be another accident. <laughs> Look over there, you can see him. Uh, I see him. The cable on that engine's pretty old. Steve's going to hoist some mighty heavy timbers. Oh, there they go. Swinging over the edge of the can. Yeah, I see them. Oh, they shouldn't put so much weight on that old cable. <laughs> if it snaps and lets those timbers fall, it'll be awful bad. What's that? The cable. Better get over there, High. Go ahead, Kirk. I'm satisfied. All right, what's going on over here, man? What happened there? Jim, huh? Jim, 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 Jim. Oh, what happened? Tell me, who's that? Jim? Well, that's how it happened, Mr. Conway. Steve didn't realize that the cable was old. Confound this busted leg. Only I Oh, could... it couldn't be helped, Mr. Conway. Anyone hurt, Kirk? Yeah. Timmons was down below. How bad is he hurt? He's dead. What? I'll see here, Kirk. Someone is to blame for that. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Conway. Someone is to blame for that just the same as Skinny Rawlins is to blame for leaving that loose timber that made me fall into the canyon. Well, I fired Skinny for that. Who's to blame for snapping that cable? Oh, Mr. Kirk, Steve was at the donkey engine. He should have known better than to jerk the line with such a heavy load. You're doggone right, he should. Well, I fired Steve. Well, that won't help any. What about the bridge? Well, it uh, <clears throat> got smashed up pretty bad. Confound the luck. I... Let me out of this chair. Mr. Conway, the doctor said oh, you Dan, should... Oh, Dan, Kirk, help me to the window. I've got to see. You're not to get out of bed. But I... Oh, hang this no good leg. Well, there's nothing to see, Mr. Conway. It's all at the bottom of the canyon where you can't see it. Uh, Kirk, what did you do with Timmons? Well, the boys are getting him out of the canyon. You sure he's passed all hell? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We made sure. How long will it take to repair the damage to the bridge? Oh, I'd say about uh, at least two weeks. Two weeks? Well, we... 
Mr. Conway, oh. you got to lie quiet. That leg's gone. I know, Dan, I know. Now, see here, Kirk, we can't spend two weeks repairing that damage. We can't lose two days of progress on that bridge. Well, I don't know what we can do about it. Do we can get more help, get more men in the job, get the men to work longer hours, work by lantern light if well, need I'll be. I'll see what we can do, Mr. Conway. Or uh, look up Tim and's family and see if we can do something for them. Right. Oh, gone it all. This ain't the worst luck. Maybe my friends will have some suggestions when they get here, Mr. Conway. Ah, uh, suggestions won't build a bridge. We got to get more men in the job. I tell you... What, Hello, who? Conway. Oh, what? Mask. Oh, golly. I'm glad you're here. What's the idea of sneaking in the rear door? What's the... Why, Dan, is, is this the friend you spoke of? Yes. I've uh, been looking your bridge over. I reckon I wasn't very sociable when you came through that door. I saw a mask oh, that's and... All There's right. just been another accident. Yes, Dan, I know. Sit down. I owe a lot to this lad and the Indian. <laughs> Uh, Conway, I've heard of situations similar to this. Yes? A rival contractor wanted to take the job away from the man who was building a tunnel. There were a lot of accidents on that job. At least they were called accidents. What are you getting at? I wonder if that accident would have happened if you had been on the job. But I... W say, you mean the hint that Kirk has sold me out? Oh, I didn't say that, Conway. Matter of fact, I don't know that anyone wants to see you fail on this job. Look here. It just happens that there is a buzzard. Oh? A critter by the name of Hind. Hind? Yes, he wanted the job of building the bridge. But he couldn't get the graft worked out the way he liked, so the job came to me. Well, that's interesting. If someone caused that cable to snap, it's a case of murder, isn't it? That's right. Poor Timmons was killed. Golly! Do you think that's what happened? It would have to be proved, Dan. See here, why do you hide your face by that mask? Who are you? You. What's the matter? I'll show you what's the matter. Kirk, what in the... All this doggone leg. Easy there, Mr. Conway. I'm sorry to bust in like this, Mr. Conway. But this masked man and Indian with him have been snooping around asking questions. I looked for the foreman, Kirk, but you weren't around. So then you went snooping. I looked at the broken cable. And hitting, and it might have been broken intentionally. It's possible. And if it was, Timmons was murdered. We don't need masked outlaws around here. <laughs> I'm not an outlaw, Kirk. Well, you're masked. Quiet. Did you examine the broken cable? Sure I did. It was none too strong. The wrong kind of handling would have broken it. Well, Steve was careless, that's all. It's none of your business anyhow. You fired him, didn't you? Sure I did. And you gave him the pay he had coming, didn't you? What about it? I, uh, talked to him. He was getting ready to go into town with a pocket full of spending money. Mm -hmm. What's that got to do with you? It has quite a bit to do with Mr. Conway and the bridge. Especially if Steve snapped that cable on purpose. Why, uh, what are you getting at? If Steve's in town for the rest of the day spending his money, he'll be in a very talkative mood by evening. Uh. He might be made to admit snapping the cable. You mean to say he done it on purpose? Oh, I don't know, Kirk. But I think he should be questioned, don't you? Someone might have hired him. All right. Maybe he's right, Conway. I'll go into town and see him tonight. Perhaps it would be better if Sheriff Wallace questioned him. Oh, you're hitting that I can't be trusted. You're as much as saying that I fixed now, it for now, Steve. Kirk, Kirk, I'll Kirk. handle this, Conway. This critter's just trying to stir up a lot of distrust and trouble. I'm going to teach you a lesson you won't forget. Steady, Kirk. Don't start anything you can't finish. I can finish anything I oh, start. Kirk. I'll show you. You missed, Kirk. I won't miss the next time you... I'm sorry. Knock me down, will you? Knock me down, will you? No man does that and gets away with it. He's got a gun. Oh. No more of that. My hand. You ask for that, Kirk. You wait. You just wait. I'll get you for this. You better get your hand bandaged. Hollow will fix it for you. He's outside somewhere. I don't need his help. Now, Kirk, don't let your hot temper make a fool of you. The masked man is He's trying... a meddler that's here to stir up trouble for all of us, Conway. Now see that he pays for knocking me down and shooting me. For rousing a lot of distrust among the men on this job. Well... Mister, I'm afraid you've made yourself an enemy. So it seems. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kirk ain't one to take what you gave him without doing something about it. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Shortly after his fight with Jim Kirk, the Lone Ranger called Tonto to Conway's house for a meeting with the contractor. Conway, when you said that a man named Hine was after this job, I was sure there was something underhanded in the accidents. You know about Hind? Yes. Hine was a contractor who built the bridge at Little Rock. Yes? The original builder lost that contract because of a series of accidents. Hmm, I see. Uh, how long has Hine been in cold water? He came there before I started work on the bridge. He's been there ever since. Well, that's interesting. Him crook. Him plenty crook. If we could just prove that. The time limit wouldn't mean anything if Hine wasn't on hand to take the job over. We're going to try to prove it. You spoke of questioning Steve. Yes. Well, that might lead to something. Steve didn't have anything to do with your fall. No, no. It was Skinny Rawlins that left that loose timber for me to step on. He was fired this morning. Yeah. Isn't Jim Kirk very quick to fire men when you need all the help you can get? Well, uh... I wonder... How far do you trust Kirk? I don't know. I never had reason to distrust him. But now... Conway, Todd and I are going to Coldwater. Right now? Yes, then. You're going to question Steve and Skinny? No, not exactly. But we're going to use them as bait. Come on, Toto. Ah, be ready. We'll see you later, Conway. I'll be here. Dan, those two friends of yours are certainly unusual men. You bet they are, Mr. Conway. Especially the masked man. Why is he so eager to help me? Oh, Mr. Conway, that's the Lone Ranger. What? Sure. I thought you knew it. The Lone Ranger? Come on, Silver. Get up, come. <laughs> That evening, a lot of things happened in the town of Coldwater. First of all, Sheriff Wallace had a visitor, a masked man whom he had met previously. I, I don't know as it could be done. It can be done, Sheriff. Well, all right, it's worth a try anyway. Two minutes later, Tonto met the masked man in the shadows behind the cafe. Kirk, just right into town. All right, Tonto. The sheriff will have his deputies ready. Ah. Uh -huh. Or Steve and Skinny in the cafe. Then there. Then you know what to do. Uh -huh. Tonto knew what to do because the masked man had given him careful instructions. He went to the cafe and sought Skinny and Steve, who were seated at a corner table. For some time, there was nothing to attract the attention of the others in the cafe. Then, without warning, violent action exploded in the corner. I never saw such a thing. Them shooting words. He's not going to come. Get him, Skinny. 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 In short order, the fight was halted, and Tonto was taken with Skinny and Steve to the one room jail that opened from the sheriff's office. Hind, the contractor, was already in the room, and when he saw the sheriff, I demand my immediate release, Sheriff Wallace. Now, hold on, Mr. Hind. Why was I brought here in the first place? I reckon my deputy misunderstood, Mr. Hind. You weren't to be locked up like a criminal? Well, I should hope not. I just sent the deputy to bring you here to answer a few questions. That's all. And open this door and let me out. Ask your questions and let me go. Oh, just a minute. Someone just come into my office. I got to see who it is. You wait right here and I'll be back in a minute. Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff Wallace! I'll be right there. I'll be back in a minute, Mr. Hind. You'd better be. Coming right out.
Well, Kirk, I didn't look for you in cold water. No? Oh, I thought you'd have your hands full on the bridge job at the canyon. Well, I have. But you see, Sheriff, I came into town to find a couple of men I fired this morning. Oh? Yeah. Uh, Steve and Skinny. I understand you got them locked up. Yeah, they got into a row at the cafe. Well, Sheriff, I, uh... Uh, suppose they told you why they were fired? Oh, no, not yet, Kirk. The fact is, I haven't had much chance to talk to them. Well, then I'll tell you. They, uh, they got careless and the man was killed. Mm. That's bad. I just had word that the thing won't end with my firing him. No? No. <laughs> you see, word's got around that, uh, well, that Steve and Skinny were paid to make trouble. Oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't believe it, but you know how men are when a story like that gets started. I came to town to warn the two that they'd, uh, well, that they'd better clear out while they got a chance. I see. Well, I got them here. Oh, it's a fine against them. I'll pay it, and you can pass along what I said and just turn them loose. Well, don't you want to talk to them yourself? No, 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 no. no. They, uh, <laughs> see, they're probably sore at me for firing them. Uh... Is there a fine to pay? No, that ain't necessary. I'll turn them loose. A gun. Want to wait? No. No, no. <laughs> Might uh, be just a little embarrassing. <laughs> no, I'll shove on. Suit yourself, Kirk. Yeah, tell them what I told you, and they can use their own judgment. Mm-hmm. Good night, Kirk. Good night. Ornery buzzard. Kirk left his office, Sheriff Wallace stood in the open doorway looking after him for a few moments. He seemed lost in deep thought. Then, closing the door, he turned and walked slowly toward the cell where Tonto was confined with Steve and Hind. Hmm. So Kirk was thoughtful enough to come here to warn the two men he says he fired. Sure putting himself out to be kind-hearted. Looks like the masked man's plan is working out just like he figured it would at that. Well, now I'll unlock the cell door and tell them they're free to go. I'll unlock the cell, gents. Being as I'm letting Steve and Skinny go, the engine can leave too. As for you, Mr. Hine... I won't go. What's that, Steve? Me and Skinny ain't leaving here. That redskin told us a few things, and Kirk's coming here proves they was true. Why, what are you talking about? You heard what Kirk said. Came here to warn he you. He came here to fix us so as he could shoot us and have someone else to take the blame. Oh, why do he want to shoot you? I ain't talking, but I ain't leaving here. Yeah, what are you waiting for, Redskin? Me not go. Of all the crazy... Well, it's dark outside. Too dark to see who come from here. Maybe fella shoot me. Maybe think me one of these two fellas. I never seen the like of this. Mr. Hind, uh, you're free to leave. I, uh... I, I'm in no hurry. I... Well, you can't stay here. Me and Skinny won't leave. Kirk's afraid we'll tell something. He wants to shut us up for keeps. Now that ain't These got enough... These fellas take pay from Kirk. Get cash to smash bridge. What? Is that the truth? We ain't admitting nothing, but we ain't leaving. Now look here, Engine, that don't make no sense. Why would Kirk pay anyone to smash the bridge? He wouldn't gain nothing by it. This fella pay him. Mind? No, 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 that's not true, is it? Mind? Come to think of it, if Conway fell down on his job, you'd take it over, wouldn't you? Are you making an accusation? No. But there ain't no one else that paid to block work on the bridge. The word of an Indian. Then you don't take no stock in what the engine said? Of course not. There, yeah, Steve, you see? There's nothing to be afraid of. Let Hind go out first. The sheriff wants to ask me a few questions. Well, I've or... changed my mind about that, Hind. I'll ask him some other time. You can go. But I... Well, I, I want to speak to you about something. Tomorrow will do. Stop hedging about it, Hind. Hind, you know better than anyone else if Kirk was paid to damage the bridge. Well, uh, well someone else might have done it. Well, there ain't no one else that'd pay for that kind of work. You go out first. Now, wait. You wait go minute. out first. No. Out you go. No. Oh, Kirk will shoot it. It's dark. He, he can't see. Oh. Then you admit you hired him and he pay, paid oh. these two. I, I admit nothing. Let me go. Make oh. this Indian let me go. Now open the door. Uh, wait, wait, Sheriff. You, you want to ask me some questions. That, that That's why you brought me here. Let these others go. We can talk. I'll ask we you can... the question I figured on asking, Hind. Did you hire men to smash that bridge? I... Answer yes or no. No. Oh, all right, then. You got nothing to fear from Kirk or anyone else. 
Now, get out of this hole. Don't no, wait, wait. I'll, get out. I'll, I'll, I'll confess. I'll, I'll admit you it. You hired Kirk to smash the bridge? Yes. And he hired them, too? Yes, but I, I didn't intend to kill anyone. I, that was an accident, Sheriff. Get behind that bar door. Put him in there, Tonto. Uh, you get back. Get back. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Tonto. And that fix him, huh? Did you gents in the next room hear the confession? Yeah, we heard it all. We didn't miss it. Good hunting, Sheriff. What? What's this? Who are these men? Deputies and townsmen, Hine, so as we'd have witnesses to your confession. You, you framed this. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. Get in there, Kirk. All right, all right. Don't shove me. Well, Kirk, your hands on. tied your hands so neat. Uh, Hind, you confounded fool. This was all framed. Well, Kirk, I didn't... There was a masked man outside. He grabbed and roped me as soon as I left the office. You'd kept your mouth shut, they wouldn't have had a thing on him. I, I did you ordinary polecat, you would have shot the men that helped you if you'd had the chance. Yes, and if you hadn't come here, they wouldn't have been able to trap well, us. you squealer? You killer, shut up! Now, both of you, keep still. If you hadn't showed up, Kirk, we'd have got you anyhow. Hind would have squealed just as loud when we got him convinced that you were waiting outside. Open that door, deputy. Uh, Sheriff. What is it, Tonto? Conway, get more time to finish bridge now. <laughs> oh, shucks. Without hind waiting to jump in and take the job over, I reckon Conway can have as much time as he needs. Oh, not good. Me go now. Get in there with your pals, Kirk. Hey, well, you never stop this one up, Sheriff Wallace. <laughs> no, I admit that, Kirk. This here was a plan that was thought up by the Lone Ranger. Get him up, scout. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 